Hi scholars, today we're going to talk about representing natural numbers and in, in particular we're going to spend some time making sense of the base 10 system that we currently use. Um, in the past uh, there have been many different uh, ways in which we can write counting numbers, right? So for example the Romans, right, they would use the I to represent 1, right, and then they would use um, an X to represent 10, they would use a C to represent 100, right? Um, and they would use an M to represent 1000. And they're also, they used, um, for example, an L represented 50, um, and a V represented five, right? So if you wanted to write the number eight, you would actually write V, I, 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 and that's how they would write the number eight. It's the same as what we do now when we write this symbol here for the number eight. If you wanted to write the number, uh, for example, 90, Right? That would actually be, they would write that as XC. All right? Now the X is a 10, but it comes before the C, which is 100, right? So this is really saying 10, 10 less than 100. So this is how they would write 90. So here's just a couple of examples. So how do we represent numbers these days? Well, we use our base 10 system. Let's take a look at an example that illustrates what our base 10 system is all about. So if we want to decompose the natural number 7,256 using the base 10 system. Okay, well, we know that uh, the 7 is representing 7,000. So we know that the 2 is representing 200, right? Because it's in the hundreds place. We know the 5 is representing 50, right? And the 6 is just representing 6. Okay, so we have 7,256. Okay, now 7,000 is nothing more than, let's use a different color here, 7,000 is nothing more than 7 times 1,000. Okay, 200 is nothing more than 2 times 100. And we can keep this going. 50 is nothing more than 5, right, times 10. Okay, we're not doing anything crazy here. And 6 is nothing more than 6 times, well, times 1, right? It seems sort of redundant. However, we're going we're gonna to keep that here. We'll see in a second where that comes, where that comes into play. So the 7,256 uh, we're just rewriting it, right? Decomposing just means to rewrite it, and so we rewrote it in this way, and then we said we could also keep going and rewrite it in this way. Now, the value of doing this is we can see that 1,000 is a power of 10, right? So this is the same thing as 7 times 10 to what power? So 10 times 10 times 10, 10 to the third power, okay we're getting close to our base 10 system because we're rewriting the 7,000 portion, right, of this number using a base of 10, right? This is a base and that's an exponent. Okay, let's keep going. Seven times 10 cubed plus uh, two times, and 100 is nothing more than 10 squared, right? 10 times 10 plus, well, five times 10, that's kind of, like even easy, right? It's five times 10 and really 10 is really 10 to the first power, right? If we want to think about um, how many times am I multiplying 10 by itself to get 10? Well, it's just that one time, right? So, uh, and now we're sort of at this strange place where I have six and if I want to keep a pattern going, I want to write this as 10 to some power, right? This is sort of my goal because then, then I have 10 10, 10, 10, I'd be writing everything in base 10 system, using the base 10 um, system. Now, the question is, 10 to what power would equal one, right? Because I need it to equal one. Now that's a really weird question because 10 to some powers, right, this power is telling me how many times I multiply 10 by itself, but how many times do I multiply 10 by itself to have it equal one? Right? So the question doesn't really make, make that much sense. So what we do is what we do a lot of times uh, in math is we follow the pattern that we see. So I see a pattern here. I see that the thousands is represented by 10 cubed. I see the hundreds is represented by 10 squared. I see that the tens is represented by 10 to the one power. So if this pattern continued, three, two, one, <gasps> 
10 to the 0 power. This would be the last term. And so, in fact, we will learn later that 10 to the 0 power equals 1. And in fact, any number to the 0 power, any number a to the 0 power, or here, any number x to the 0 power also equals 1, assuming that x is not itself 0. Okay, so this right here is our final answer. This is how we decompose the number 7256 using our base 10 notation. Now, if you're really curious, you might think, huh, could, could we keep going? What about if it was 7256.4, right? Yeah, sure, we could have added on a plus 4 times, and then, huh, what power would that be? Well, right? That would in fact be 10 to the negative 1 power, right? So we can continue on um, uh, in this direction if we wanted to. Okay, that's great. Have a great week.